So now let's see how we can work around with guided high key inside of Adobe Photoshop Elements. So to do that, I'm going to go around onto the guided tab right here. And once I go around onto the guided tab, um, you can see under black and white, there's this high key option right here. So if I were to go around onto the high key right here, then I get relevant um, options. So here you can see that you can select the high key preset. So if I were to go around and select color right here, just like this, then you can see that the picture turns bright and there is still color over here on the picture, just like this. You can go around over here onto, let's say, black and white right here, and then everything turns out black and white. And that is what high key is all about. It increases out the brightness altogether, and then you can see that everything is added out right here. So you can go around onto color over here just like this as well. And if you want to go around and add in more details onto it, then what you can also do is add in a diffuse glow right here. So once you do that, more um, like diffusion is added in as you can see right here. And you can click on it multiple times right here to add in more diffusions. But that does take away the details, especially if it is a bright image already. And that is how you can use the guided high key, um, um, uh, uh, high key effect inside of Adobe Photoshop Elements. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.